an elected DA has been charged with rape, strangulation, a bunch of other stuff, okay? Let's put up a picture of this DA. Republican out of Somerset County, this is in Pennsylvania. His name is Jeffrey Lynn Thomas. This Republican ran a campaign, tough on crime. No hug a thug programs here. That's him, <laughs> that's the guy. He has now been charged with rape. Let me give you the background. The Somerset County District Attorney was arrested Wednesday and charged with raping and physically assaulting a female acquaintance. Pennsylvania State Police said he faces rape, strangulation, criminal trespass, and other charges following the incident in the Winbur on Saturday night. In Winbur on Saturday night. That's according to state police. The DA was arraigned Wednesday night. Now get this. He is being held on a $5,000 bail. Now that's an easy bail, he makes that no problem. $5,000 bail in the county system. I wanna remind you of the charges, rape, strangulation, criminal trespass, and other charges, 5,000 bucks. The arrest came after a day of state police investigated the alleged attack. Police said Mr. Thomas entered the home of a female acquaintance and refused to leave after being told to get out the house. The DA is then said to have sexually and physically assaulted the woman. In a statement, Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro called the charges against Thomas deeply disturbing and stated, it is a reminder that no one is above the law. Um, I have a few issues here, obviously, many times when people run these tough on something campaigns, they're trying to uh, overcompensate for something. Uh, it is a big flash in the pan and look at this and don't look at what I'm doing behind the scenes. Uh, but he is charged, so this is at current state an allegation. But do you know how tough it is to arrest a sitting damn DA? Sure. That must have been some pretty compelling evidence that the state police were able to actually put their hands on. He has been arrested, he's charged with these crimes. And look at what the criminal justice system does. They bend their rules. Did they break the law? No, the judge did not break the law, but the judge definitely bent the law because who in the hell gets a $5,000 bail for rape and strangulation in America other than a white DA? Was? Yeah, obviously anytime crime is visited upon visited upon somebody, it's horrible and, and we don't want that in, in under any context in our society. But when it's being carried out by those who are tasked, elected to protect and serve the public, it's it's twice as horrible, if not more than that. And you know, another thing that what we mentioned about the cops and the erosion of trust in institutions, I think what you're seeing with stuff like people not wanting to be vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, that's a byproduct of a lack of trust in the institutions that are tasked with running our lives, right? And I think mm -hmm. these things have a carryover effect. It's not just that this guy <laughs> has been a, is, is now a blight on the DA's office. You now make it so that it's hard for the citizenry to trust that very institution. So it has these ripple effects, man, it's, it's awful. And I would just hope that the victim is getting the help and the resources that they need to recover from something as horrific as a rape. Yeah, horrific.